Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, will arrive in Cuba today, the first royals to visit since the Communist Revolution 60 years ago. The pair risk angering U.S. President Donald Trump, who has attempted to isolate Cuba by tightening a trade embargo and warning firms not to do business there. The Duke and Duchess will visit a medical research center to learn about a partnership with Manchester University, which helps develop cancer drugs. This is particularly important, a source told the Mail on Sunday, because Cuban doctors are blocked from getting certain drugs from the U.S. Palisades said the Prince of Wales is visiting the center due to his interest in health care. Trump's national security adviser last year branded Cuba part of a troika of tyranny with Venezuela and Nicaragua. However, Charles and Camilla in fact added Cuba to their Caribbean tour on request from the UK government, who wished to boost commercial relations and political influence. They will be accompanied by Lord Ahmad, a foreign office minister. A former British ambassador to Cuba Paul Webster Hare told the Mail on Sunday, We have long told the US and this has been the case for 20 years at least, that we don't agree with isolating Cuba. Equally, we don't agree with everything the Cuban government does. The U.S. has long known that we take a different view. There are no plans for the royals to meet Raul Castro, the former president who remains head of the Communist Party. His brother Fidel led the country until his death in 2016. Prince Charles will meet Miguel Diaz Canel who took over as president last year. A palace source told the Mail on Sunday, the prince does not set the agenda for the visit. Mr. Hare added, it's complicated, but that is how diplomacy often is. It's not going to be a visit where either side wants to engage in great controversy. The point of the visit is symbolic.